Oui, bonjour, Monsieur Ali. Ah, tu me vois maintenant? Oui, 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 je te vois et je t'écoute. Et tu, ok, ok, on va commencer tout de suite, on aura une quarantaine de minutes. Dis-moi, on peut faire, un, ça peut aller aussi en 30 minutes? 30 minutes, ok, on essaiera. D'accord, ce serait super. Je, je vais essayer de faire ça en 30 minutes. D'accord, merci. De toutes les façons, nous sommes limités par le temps euh, permis par euh, Zoom. Oui, oui. Euh, J'ai des problèmes euh, techniques ici. Hello, <laughs> uh, good afternoon uh, to our listeners. This is uh, generally online as usual, and I'm coming uh, back uh, to you to present you something very interesting. Recently, I met a young man, a young African, who um, was born in Cameroon, uh, but now works in Germany and across the world, really, not only in Germany, but he goes around in so many countries, both in Europe, Africa, and elsewhere, in Asia, and so on and so forth. And his basic passion on this thing that I'm going to talk about is about football and how to utilize the talent, reputations, the big names, and the big successes recorded by uh, footballers who once were world stars. They still are stars, but they are retired. They are no longer uh, occupied in professional football actively, but they are people who have made their names in the world because of football. And um, my young friend, a very young Cameroonian man who lives now in Germany, is called Fred Siewe. Uh, he tells me that Siewe means in his language back home in Cameroon, means God. Uh, so uh, pay some respect, please. So, Fred, uh, welcome to my program. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Generali. Yeah, Thank you I'm, to be with you. I'm glad to see you again after we parted company in Rwanda, then in uh, London recently. Uh, but uh, could you please introduce yourself? Uh, what you do exactly and what you're planning to do between now and next year, 2024. Okay, uh, like you said before, I am a, my name is Fred Siewe, born in Cameroon, come from the village they call Bana in Cameroon. And uh, I went to Germany after the secondary school, I started in Germany. I was, uh, I occupied the function to, as the commercial seller for French country for my company in Germany. And, but uh, I always uh, be president, uh, organized football competition when I was younger in Cameroon. I love football. And my dream uh, was to create a platform in the world who we give opportunity for former football player to give back when they when they have get from the sport and from the football but also and to have the best impact i created this platform who called vcwc is uh, in english veteran world club championship who will organize the first edition for the World Cup of Legion in Rwanda next year for the 10 until 20 of May. And uh, the, uh, the objective for the platform is, like I like to say, is development platform where we try to give opportunities for people who like soccer, football, to be in to be in contact direct with those one who make us be proud of the football and to give also for those footballers the opportunity to work with companies, to exchange with company, with university, a social case, because most of them 
are always people like to see them people like to discuss with them people but we can make more with them than only maybe able to make a picture take a picture that's why the platform now vcwc is there who will bring together more than 150 football players around the world not 100 only from 150 150 yes and you are talking about the big, the big names can you give us something uh, of an idea what big names are you talking about yeah we are talking about all the, the football big names you know african one you already i already made some event with play, players like uh, samuel etofis uh, patrick boma fatiga of senegal jj okosha from nigeria uh, we are looking forward to work now with people player like ronaldinho with player like zidane we already get involved player like Lilian Chiram, Robert Pires, the first, the lady from Canada, Chairman Hooper, who was former captain for national team from Canada, 10 years. Then Macon, I was last time for two weeks, I was in Paris with Sonia Anderson from Brazil. Yeah. I was in London with, with Luis Saha, who played in Manchester United from French national team. Then we are engaging, we are on still engaging many former players around the world. We already have Gaishka Menjeta, we have in Asia a player, La Miyamoto, who is the Secretary General for the Football Association in Asia. Uh, we have in North Africa, uh, Gael Wailngoma, who for Egypt. Then we are, st until we are still engaging all of the former players around the world. And the, what's good is in, on it is that we will organize it three years consecutively in Rwanda. We sign with the government of Rwanda. We will visit Rwanda to, to, for three editions. The first edition will be next year after 2025 and 2026. And you know, we have every year more retired footballer in the world than to have 150 players is is so easy the diff what is difficult is now to choose them is the most difficult because there are too many yes. in each every country we have a legend i remember the you during the youth connect last year we was here with jimmy gatete in rwanda who is one of the biggest name from the rwanda football mm -hmm. but rwanda is not one of, is not a big country for world football but each country in Africa, in Asia, have a legend in football. Yes. That's why for us now is to look which legend have a big impact in the, in the country where he live, in the country where he play. Then we are working with a team of legend to choose the one who will be participated at the first edition. Okay. I, I know it is uh, taking place in uh, Rwanda. It sounds uh, very close to where I'm sitting right now. You are in Kigali, I'm in Dar es Salaam, but I feel like we're very close. Very good. <laughs> How many countries in the region are you go, uh, are going to be involved in this program for uh, next year? Like I told you, all the world is involved. We didn't have we didn't have close the country, the veteran world. The world world for us is very important because it's the platform VCWC is to bring together the legend of the world for Asia, for Europe, from Africa, from uh, uh, North America, for South America. Then that's why also we decided to make a world tour where I already make some country in the world and I still we have many another part of the world we will, we will travel to to explain the, con the context of the project to explain also to the companies because we the world will be in Kigali for 10 days about football, about with the legends, it will be the exchange for the world. Then all the world is involved on the project. Yeah, I know. Although it is the whole world involved, you being uh, this uh, activity taking place in Kigali will be very close to Tanzania, to DRC, to Uganda, to, to Burundi. Are people in these countries, in these surrounding countries, able to visit physically? 
I think not, I mean, not to look at on TV or anything, but to travel across the Rwandan border and be in Rwanda itself during the, the yes, we are. That uh, we are we are organizing. We, we have a team, a, a, a company who is based in who is in Rwanda. Easy Group is the name of the company. They are the ones that are organizing the planification of the and the facilities with the Rwanda government through the uh, with the Visit Rwanda campaign, the RGB to facilitate because we know that around the the country, the African country, also the country was near, like you said, Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya, uh, DRC, all those countries around. Many people want to attend because we are talking about the legend. We are talking about people who get a big impact in our society. Then we sign a partnership also with Rwanda, who is the, the Rwanda National Company, air, airline company also. Then we will organize some the, we will organize some, uh, some tour also to give opportunities for Africa, for Europe, for everybody to travel to Rwanda to saw the game, to visit, because it will be more than 20 games, but we will have also the forum. We are talking about many forums, forum for business, forum for peace, About we will talk about peace, forum about education, then we sign an MOU also with the UN from Rwanda, who is the facilitator to organize all those forums because we are driving the same agenda for the SDGs with UN Rwanda. Then we are preparing the organization for those different forums where we attend big speakers, speakers who have an impact also in the world, where uh, people where the world, what they said, can have a change. For a young guy or woman who have a company or who want to run a company, as somebody who's going to school, how can it plan? How can it achieve what he's doing? Okay. And you are going to have uh, all these legends coming, your big names, uh, Eto, uh, Drogba, maybe, uh, and the others you, you talked about, Turam. So you're going outside the continent as well. Yes, we are going also, like I said, I just uh, I arrived in Kigali last week from uh, where, where I was in Germany. I was in Borussia Dortmund in Berlin. I, I was in München. Now I went, then I went in London. I went in Paris. Now I am in Kigali. The next step will be Dar es Salaam. I will be in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. I will be in Lagos. I will be in Johannesburg. Uh, with the team, we are, I'm traveling with a, a big team where, like I said, we are trying to explain, to invite people in Rwanda that the continent and the world, they should be in Rwanda for 10 days to, to show what will happen, how legend of football now have a platform to impact what they are doing and what they want to do. Fantastic. You talked about uh, issues concerning peace. How does this uh, undertaking help the advancement of peace, for instance? Uh, we talk, you know that sport, without a peace environment, we didn't, we, can, we didn't have a chance to play football because people need to be in peace. You have to be, get, have a peace environment to play football. That's why legend who came, you know, about uh, some stories are uh, where players like Abedi Pele impact help the country like Ghana to have peace to save problem. Players like DJ Drogba in Africa, when the fight was there, people like DJ Drogba with their award, with what they achieve, can bring people to get the peace. That's why the legend are so happy to bring their to give their award to touch something for all those people who don't who are bringing us for a situation that the world until is not uh, the world is really uh, with those war and everything we need peace to practice our football we need peace for the development that's why legends are happy to bring their experience also why peace 
is a big contribution if you want to achieve any type of program for development for yourself, for the company, and it, everything. Why did you choose Rwanda for this program and not uh, one of those uh, big footballing countries like Morocco, like uh, Cameroon, like South Africa, like Egypt? Why Rwanda? Uh, why Rwanda? Because uh, the choice for Rwanda is uh, Rwanda today really the government governance for Rwanda is really give opportunities for us for the world to come and bring new projects who want to achieve also things. Rwanda is a platform today where the Rwandais are really try, they are working to show another eyes to the world, how a country for where they are coming for 20 years, what they achieve in this country is so famous, is so wonderful. And Rwanda, just when I bring, I, I bring the project in Rwanda, the authority, the sport minister, the football federation, the head of state, they bless us. We were so welcomed by the Rwandais and Rwandais to bring the project here. That's why with the government of Rwanda, RGB, we signed for three years because they, they saw that also the project have a big impact, but they have done many things who give us the chance to have a good platform to achieve the story we are one, we are now starting now to build enough in the continent with the football legend from the world. Um, definitely the high patron of this event will be His Excellency Paul Kagame himself a very ardent uh, football uh, fan. Have you talked to him about uh, his personal participation? Yes, we, uh, you know that he's on his, he, the, the head of state, our father, our, he's, all, uh, he's the, 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 the father of the competition, of the project. You know, then it's like you say, the head of state already bless us when we arrive in the country. We have the chance to discuss with him, to present him the project, and we was welcome from him. Then now he remains, we are working to prepare the different event who will come because what is important to know before next year, 10 of May, we are organizing many different events to in Rwanda already and around the world. Like the next event will be on 3rd of September in Kigali, where we will announce, we will present our jersey, the jersey for the, the tournament in Kigali. We will organize a big event to present the different jersey from the team, what the team will wear, and the mascot also for the competition. Okay. Okay. And I'm told, I had something when I was in Kigali, that you, some of the legions are making plans to build uh, permanent houses in Kigali or around Kigali. Yeah, that is also behind one of the ideas, the key project that uh, we want to build also the first city in the world, the legend. That's why also Rwanda, the name, the VCWC, have also this home of legend in Rwanda because legends are coming in Rwanda. They want to build also house in Rwanda. They want to stay, get a stay house also in Rwanda. Is one of the projects we are working on it to achieve also in Rwanda. Thank you very much, Fred Siewe. Thank you very much for being on our program. I hope I'll meet you uh, again one of these uh, days before the World uh, Cup takes place in uh, July of uh, 2024. Thank you very much. Thank you to you. Thank you for the opportunity you give to me today to explain the project. And we keep it in touch. And hopefully also the house will full when we will be in Dar es Salaam, where you are based. Yes, yes. Uh, everybody will be waiting for you. I've already told you, you uh, uh, the steps I've taken to contact uh, Tanzanian personalities and leaders uh, who are involved in sports development in the 
in the country. Thank you very much. Je vous remercie beaucoup, Monsieur Siewe. À nous revoir. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup à vous. Au revoir. <laughs> Danke schön. <laughs> Bitte schön. <laughs>